Urban Velodrome, is it? Urban Velodrome. <laughs> <laughs> Yes now. Yes now. Outdoor duo Q and A from Wester Park live feed. Wester Park. Yeah, I'm coming at you not live from Amsterdam. Tommy being associates. Oh, yeah. Bike camp. Balanced on a new ride. This is balanced on a fucking cat cycle. Man. This is live. Yeah, man. It yes. gets chopped up. Yes, Paul in the background. Yes. Kiwi in the background. Yes, now. Get in. For me, too. For me, he's carrying speed, man. Tempo, mate. His legs are booted. <laughs> Tempo. <laughs> he's doing fucking. He's doing a time trial. It must be, yeah, no, <laughs> man. He's, like, he's not going anywhere, mate. He's time he's trial. He's literally <laughs> drifting around a corner, man. That was a checkpoint, man. He was on two Boop. wheels there, mate. It's like real life Mario Kart. When's Tommy B going on X on the beach? Never, man. Never, man. Just finger everyone on it. Just fingers everyone on it. <laughs> and off it. Off it. Nah, maybe. We'll see if I get the phone call, I'll do it, man. We be setting a wobbling at Awak Awakenings Festival. Yeah, I will. He will, I might. We're opening the account this week. Yeah, open this air. week. Open air. The Woodstock next week, so give us a fucking shout. Could you lads have seen yourselves back then in the position you are in today? Uh, yeah. I don't know what position I am in today. I knew there was something special. Great coming, one. I knew there was something special, but I don't know where quite I was going to be living this fucking Urban King reality shit, man. He's bad, man. He is time For trial. For me, he's legit doing time trials, man. Mate, that's speed. Peng legs, man. Mate, if that was just blurry, that's because he's fucking... His legs are still in DC10. It's the dust. That's the dust is leaving. <laughs> right, right. Where the fuck were we, man? You need your question, man. It's fucking great to be in a park at this time. What do you, both of you consider your weakness? Apart from the K. <laughs> <laughs> It's petite Asian birds is my weakness. I have a little, very little confidence, man. <laughs> yeah. S social anxiety. Uh, I've got an eye for detail in a very bad way. Uh, to the point where it put me off most girls. If they have like minute fucking defaults. My girlfriend fancies you. How do I get her to stop? Uh, you have to just get a new girlfriend who's never seen us on like, any kind of social media. Just keep her in a fucking fritzel basement so that she's not, because that's the only way she's not going to end up on that path. Keep her off Ryanair.com, man. Just send her our way anyway. Uh, describe your state of mind knowing menthols will be banned by 2020. That's they will. Saying, yeah. yeah, yeah. Why not? I don't know, mate. It's some bullshit. Government. I don't give a fuck, man. Mate, you find something else to vibe off. 2020. Still got balloons, man. I'm fucking. Balloons aren't legal to do like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, come up with something, man. There'll be something. There'll be a next move. Just have, just have a chewy and a normal fag. Yeah. Just have a normal fag and a lot of airwaves, man. Sweet man. Remember them little like ice things you put on your fucking tongue? They were sick, yeah, then. Yeah. Thin ice and a fucking. Thin lambert. ice, that's the one. Thin ice and an L and B, man. Yeah, man. Beginner cycle. I'll show you a beginner cycle. That motherfucker. <laughs> that's a beginner cycle. But it's stuck. What you do is you go to a fucking bench with load of homeless people on it. Present 20 euros. Present, Present 20 euros and go. Legal tender. Go get me that bike, you. And they get you a bike. And then they bring a bike back with like two square wheels. And you say no with the other bike. And that one, usually they're just one square wheel. And you go, yeah, go ahead, there's, there's, 20, there's 20 euros. <laughs> yes, now. What, what are your reactions when people say you love yourself? Nice one. What? Is, is that the end of the sentence? So are you? You're all right. Get in the van, you. It's your disability. It's a stupid comment, man. It's realism. It's knowing where you fucking stand in life, what league, division, and rank you are in terms of everything. It's realism, man. I know. What the fuck? Social awareness. 
Yeah. I know what I'm at my fucking depth. Yeah, because if you don't love yourself enough, you've got confidence issues, man. Yeah, everyone's just so gonna be you, a faggot. you have to be in the perfect fucking range for people to accept it, don't you? You literally have to be in the perfect range for people to be okay with it, but that's how you end up being. Oh, shit never, going. never mind. Yeah, I'm a faggot. Uh, how did you and Mags first meet? That was some kind of referral scheme, that. Festival? It was a festival, but it was because some of our mates are like together and that. Actually, you were getting on Abbey before, I ever. It was kind of a referral scheme job. I gave him the Northern and he said, oh yeah, that is decent. Yeah. Mint Festival it was. Mint Are you planning on getting any more tattoos? Yeah. Don't know what though. Constant canvas. It's gonna be fucking filmed for our life. With horrible edgy lines and minging, minging. Ming in visuals. Who's banged the most birds? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's close, but. It's tidal, I, I, man. I think. It's tidal. Yeah. Literally within. Well, it must be within. It must be within. It must be within. Five to ten. Five to ten, but. but I think I've yeah. edged it, but that's just through. Don't know. Yeah, I would call it. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> hey, line the dream teams up. Yeah. They my man stacks up to anything, man. Get on MTV and there's 10. <laughs> yeah, well, fair one, exactly. But get on MTV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the birds saying in the dam? I'm not in, I'm into like Dutch birds, man. I right, so the, the birds in the dam here, typically from what I've um, witnessed so far in my two months spent here, is the fucking long. Blonde girls back home. <laughs> Blonde girls back home. A small little pliable pieces, mate. You can just fold them up like this. Uh, Origami. The blondes aren't the same over here, man. Yeah, so you got a good, good mix of uh, other cultures. Yeah, you, the blondes aren't as I know it, man. I've, the blondes, I've moved away from the blondes, man. Yeah, you, you need floor space, man. Honestly, no, just because you, 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 there's a lot. Of, you know, just want a little foldy uppy girl, man. Like most of the birds over here are taller than me, man. Yeah. Flat pack birds, man. So you need, you know, you need square footage to get them in, like. But festival this Sunday, let's. Uh, you see, we haven't really, I haven't really got into the market yet. Let's do some serious surveying, man. Market. Can I over there? What is? That? <laughs> Check this geezer, man. It's the Urban King. Yes now. yes now. It's the camel. It's the camel firm. <laughs> yeah, we got it, bud. Uh, what's the best opener? I think it's just Aya. I hear you. Um, Your head sound. Talk to me about you. Get in there. Come and feel this. You smell like jasmine. Come have a look at this hair. Feel how silky this is, that's E45. The worst opener is, fuck you're beautiful. The worst opener is, can I buy you a drink? Because either you've got to just continue to be a cringy fuck, or just a bore and just completely admit that there's not a genuine comment. Just be you, man. Get some fucking John Lennon's. <laughs> Go over there. Just get some John Lennon's <laughs> and be you. Just be get me John and be Lennon's. you. <laughs> be me, I mean you. <laughs> Be you, but more like Tom. Where do you get all your sleeveless tops? Hashtag techie. Uh, you make them, don't you, man? You just cut, yeah. cut you, What you do is you get normal tops with sleeves and then cut the sleeves off. Scissor life, man. Andy with scissors, this guy. You gotta get them hemmed, man. You gotta, you gotta cut them off and go and get hemmed by a fucking. Yeah. A willing woman. There's a woman in every city that's hemming t-shirts for a five minute piece, man. <laughs> you gotta get everything to hem. <laughs> Start it. hemming yeah. all of your clothes, man. Yeah. I get pants hemmed. Everything has to be hemmed, man. Hem life. Hi, Joe. Serious question here. How's things? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Hope the limp is nearly better. Tell the family, I, tell the family I was asking for them. See you soon, mate. Best of cards. <laughs> oh, yeah, things man. Are, things yeah. are great, man. Things are going swimmingly. It's a skinny leg, that. I'm down. We're, like, camoed up in this park. Came to a park in green, man. Here's, here's a new one. You've got to be a, a bouquet of black, khaki, grey. Charcoal, mate, all the time. It's the urban overalls. It's the roulard of urban. <laughs> ah. Tommy B, I'm currently living the life of a seven. If I fly over to Amsterdam for a haircut, can you guarantee you'll turn me into an 8.3? Depends what your face looks like. What's your head saying? Mate, I put a fucking mean average is like 1.3 put on. I turn fucking lives around in that joint. Re-engineering lifestyles here, mate. I'm fucking creating new features. People get Tinder matches through as Tom slipping. Me. Come and see me. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm a virgin. <laughs> I've recently started to partake in fitness. And I'm hoping this will improve my chances in smashing a bird. Did the gym help you with getting girls? And also, do you have any tips for the first time? It's great, man. <laughs> Mate, spend, what did my you, life come to when I'm spend, walking people through right. losing the virginity, man? You need to spend at least £10 on candles Yeah. for the first time, man. Make sure your parents aren't in. And, uh, don't know, man. Maybe have a, like, a pre-lit, pretty much wank. I don't know if a pre-match wank should do much, I don't know if man. finding another virgin is better than just hitting a fuck. I'd find another virgin, man, because then she's got low expectations. I do reckon, yeah. Come to Amsterdam, man. Should you just go to Dam, man? Come to Amsterdam and lob 50 euros at it. 50 euros in a dish Throw 50 here, euros at a Romanian bird, man. Um, it's Romanians. But go in the gym definitely helps, man. If you just go out and drink, just lock on to girls in the club. Say, so come and see this arm, you. It does on the like beach, man. It gets you, it gets your attention, which gets your confidence, and confidence gets your birds. So oh, yes. Good spiral, man. Yes, now. But just get some John Lennon. Tommy B's future plans will he be joining you and Yados in Ibiza? Yeah. Yes, now. July, I'm gonna do maybe a year here. Ibiza trio, yeah, man. I'm gonna head back to Manchester and fucking open up some glorious fucking. Barbershop and just take over Manchester, man, and just base there and then fought back out to Ibiza and open a fucking rude shop there. Yeah, uh, but yeah, International Trio will be hitting uh, Ibiza, yeah. man. It's getting done in July, that. Yeah, that's. The dates. Do you ever plan to go on another reality TV show? Probably not, man. I'm not asked. I'll, I'm not like fussed about it. If something comes up, I might, but. Not that bad. Yeah, I made my debut in Ground Force, mate. Never again. Not a question, but yourself and Toby, you need to get your behinds to MAGA at the end of July. Done, mate. I've done MAGA love, mate. I was there in fucking 2009, fingering everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I was at a bit. What? <laughs> what? I actually did have a bit. <laughs> I was in BCM, yeah, mate. You... Fucking battering pads, man. <laughs> pads. <laughs> <laughs> Touching Cuban hands. Yeah, Maga's rude, man. I'd actually love to go back to Magaluf now, knowing what I know and in the condition that I'm in, with the level of fucking understanding. Because when I went, I was a fucking absolute novice, and it was still easy. That's it, man. <laughs> By the time you outgrow, like... Oh, there's some fucking bell to bell, like, bell Those are Belgian birds when I went, man. Yeah. By the time you, like, you, you fucking outgrow, I, like, Magalow. Or, like, you, by the time you get good enough to absolutely clean up there, you don't want to go there anymore, anyway. <laughs> Mag is a good in and out smash and grab fucking all day. Smoke much grass in the dam? Nah, man. This guy does, and I had literally like I one fucking toke on it on a split on fucking on Saturday night, and I was seeing shit, man. I was seeing shit. Shit going on behind this camera, man. <laughs> this guy is absolutely. He's weird at life, man. Paint in the sky with fucking vibes. <laughs> yes, yes, cocaine pinata. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. 
I think it affects people differently and it may, <laughs> turns me into a fucking slug. I'm not yeah, I I don't mind it right late at night, but I just fucking melt into whatever service I'm sitting on. Yeah, mate. Well, if I'm a, I am a cushion man. I am a fucking wall. I am a table. I am whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not clever, man. My my spine just starts fucking just turns into a flump. Turns into a fucking space lamp. <laughs> just open <clears throat> on fucking a new fucking. Tommy D, do many people recognise you? Do many people recognise you from Insta slash YouTube when you're giving them fresh cuts? Yeah, to be honest with you. Yeah. I've had quite a few, it's, it's good really, but a lot of people there. Uh, must have had in excess of fucking 15 lads come to the shop that you know me from Instagram or YouTube and a lot of Irish people, man. Fucking whistling me and shouting, yes, the menthol! Across the red light district, keep it up, boys. Whilst in the dam, you're hitting progressive overloader, you're just maintaining lifts. Um, at all times, the answer is always, if you can. Barbaline. Tips on how to get yourself a techno bird. <laughs> you're, looking at, you're looking at them, mate. These fucking... <laughs> 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 these naughty little rims, man. Get yourself a middle part and these little circular fuckers. You're halfway there, mate. You just need a bit of charisma. A, a solid knowledge of the fucking urban sound of the techno. Perfect that wobble, man. Perfect it. <laughs> Just go to Ibiza, it's easy. Yeah, man. All you need to do really is just get involved. There's a fat rabbit. Ibiza will make you. Pick it up, just go along. Views on Rugby Union. Shit. These are the broad as fuck, right? You just get ridiculous questions, right? Broad audience. Yeah, man, well, yeah, it is. <laughs> We're going to this party on Saturday. What do we do? There's this bird that I like. Do you like asparagus? Uh, I imagine this. Do you like walking? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Best Ibiza memory. Ah, oh, fuck. Too many, man, all of them. I literally would have to think about this, man. I need to prepare this. There's a lot, man. like. Probably the best one up there was when we rolled out of space. The two Eastern Europe girls la last year, and then we went to this fucking rooftop. Um, and we just went on an expedition. Boss, uh, man. But the whole like the whole 48 hours prior to that, we'd just been rolling through flats and just meeting girls, and it was just like 48 hours of just, just constant, non-stop, just absolute trance vibes, man. Just meeting and greeting and fucking getting weird, man. There's too many epic times there, man. You just gotta go with a good bunch of lads and fucking kill it. That's the key, man. You need to go with a good bunch of lads, and then you recognise if you go with a big group, you recognise after like one or two days which ones are boring cunts. You need to literally drop them off, man. Like literally drop them off and go go without them, man. Because they will fuck your time up, man. If they're not gonna integrate into groups, man, you're meeting groups of birds all the time, and you need everyone to be a fucking sociable motherfucker, man. We, we go with big bunches. And absolutely pulling the pants off it, man. We go with big bunches, but it's always good. Like last time we went, we went just me and me and Joe for a week, and then our mates turned up. But we it was fucking good, just having a smaller group and just keeping it tight and having fuck yeah. Both working on a similar gear, you know what I mean? This is a to this one, mate. When did you both just say fuck it and, did and decide to change your life <laughs> and become full time sick motherfuckers? <laughs> oh man! Nah, it was about, about seven seconds after it was born, man. It was October 11, 2014, <laughs> shortly after the birth of Shepherd's Pie. Nah, just Those first seven seconds. It's progressive, shit, man. It starts by just binning every piece of shit clothing you have once a month and then you just emerge. Yeah. Finger by finger, girl by girl. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Start doing bits, man. Just do shit. You're not gonna become a sick fuck just hanging around your fucking home street or you like playing fucking Kirby with your mates that you grew up with.
Would you recommend traveling while young? Yeah. Yeah. It's a twat, really, you know. Just do it, It's man. good, like, but it's also bad as well. It's like, it's really bad financially. It's yeah. financially it's it's quite, quite crippling, but. <laughs> <laughs> we have thrown a lot of money and shit, mate. It's great though, man. We pissed money away. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta capture this time now when you've got fucking kids, family, pregnant, nightmare girls, fucking criminal records, felonies. Basically, you gotta, you gotta explore while you can because health and shit, man. Shit changes rapid. Don't be that guy sat there thinking, fuck, I should have been a sick cunt. Basically, the chances are, like, by the time you're about 35, Statistically, you're probably gonna hate your fucking life, man. <laughs> so just enjoy it before you hate it. It'd be a nice feel to just hit 30, 35, think, right, I'm done and settle down, then just get a bird that you want instead of just yeah. things just happening and yeah. missing out. Just get shit done while you can. Do you think it's important when trying to do the whole friends with benefits thing to actually practice the friends part? Yes. You mean being sound? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand this question. Man. I don't want to practice being sound with girls. Well, what? The, the thing is, right? It's like a billy, man. Of course, it's fucking worthwhile. Friends with benefits is, is a fucking box. It's just a fucking typical, like, just typical terminology. You don't want to be getting, to, getting into using that shit, man. There's no build a no, relationship. You're not friends. You're not. Boyfriend, girlfriend, you're not anything, man. You're just two people who sometimes bang. Build a relationship. Sometimes don't bang. You can build a relationship with a girl with the same worth as a, as a girlfriend, but it just goes this way instead of that way. So you have like no ties if you go this way. But if you go that way, you know, you're signing contracts, you've got responsibility, you can do and not do certain things. You can build a fucking good relationship this way. Eventually, if you want to get a bird or get with that bird, you just move over here, man. Like, go on all these birds, but just don't get with them. Yeah, man, that's the thing. People succumb to the pressure because you, because when you're chilling with a bird for a while, all their mates are saying to her, "Oh, when's he gonna get with you?" Uh, uh, and you have to drill it in yeah, hard. Just so fucking you have to, dynamic WhatsApp thing that I send you, man. Yeah, voice, yeah, yeah. You have to drill it in hard, man. That, nope. you, that you don't, you don't come under. You, you, you know, you don't fall fucking. You don't like succumb to social pressure man you don't have to be boyfriend not everyone has to be boyfriend girlfriend do you know what I mean you can have a better relationship with a bird than half the people who are actually together you don't have to be together about. man know what you're talking about but you need to but, but you need to be fucking sure about it so that when you're talking to the bird about it she's so taken back by how sure you are that she fucking believes it man because it's true so she should believe it yeah we ever make a trip to New Zealand yes man Big on New Zealand. Best place to visit first time traveling. There's new man, man. Traveling, or it's just holiday, man. There's new man, man. Anyway, fucking go away, man. Do the easy thing and go Thailand, man. Just go Thailand and just bang a load of skets from Leeds. One bar up your ass take by a fucking 14 year old take boy. Take four, four top man vests with you. Just drink fucking <laughs> banana shakes all day and get the Bye. shits once a week. <laughs> sit there, <laughs> sit there eating pad tie and a single beer vest. <laughs> Smashed it. Looking for Bart. Will you ever bring out some sort of clothing, t-shirts, blah, blah, blah? Yeah. Yeah, probs. It'd be stupid not to, wouldn't it, man? Yeah, it's all coming. Various things I want to do, and it's all going to happen in the next four years, so stay fucking tuned. Do you still speak to Naomi off X on the Beach? Uh, now and again. What's that voice notes and that? Not much. No banging Naomi. Where do you get most of your clients from? Instagram or YouTube? Don't know, man. Probably Instagram. Where do you and Tommy B get those snapbacks from? Various countries. The thing is... Five like, panels, man. But they ain't yeah. cool over here, like, I've been getting leathered for them. Yeah, but it's sound, man. You can do what you want, you can just bring it, on. I've been getting leathered for that the shit. The thing is, right, if, if you just go... If you 
spend time in different places, right? When you're there for a bit, you start dressing like them, and then you go to a different place, and you're like, shit, no, no one dresses you're like that here. Tip. And then, uh, you know, it's all of a sudden you turn up, you're like, fucking helmet, man. Everyone's like, what? Like, you were, you were cool as fuck a month ago when you are in Australia, but now you're in a damn mate, and you're getting fucking absolutely fucking. You gather from You everywhere. get rinsed for it, man. Gather from everywhere and create a compound so, out for fuck. Exactly, man. Just take the best bits, merge them into a fucking absolute melee of unpointness. Yeah, and just fucking simmer of that shit. Create an on point tracksuit with fucking doom. <laughs> Later. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> Jordy Lenny is my hero.